Hello, welcome to SimpleScuba.com. In this session, we're going to look at the Oceanic Atom 3 dive computer. So let's take a closer look. The Atom 3 is a watch-sized dive computer, quite low profile as well for a modern dive computer for the wrist. It'll fit very nicely under a, a shirt cuff, so it can be used all day, every day. Along with some of the other Oceanic computers, features a LED on the side of the unit. You can probably just about make it out there. This is used as another means of attracting your, your attention. So when alarms are going off, not only is it flashing on the screen and beeping at you, it's also showing you the LED, which just helps just to uh, get your attention a little bit more. Screen is made up from three segments, main information being shown across the center, and then the additional information shown top and bottom. And also up the sides, you've got two bar graphs, one showing ascent rate and the other showing nitrogen loading as well. To switch between the different screens, you can use the advance and mode buttons and it basically cycles through all the different options and sub-menus. So if we run through them, we've got no fly time, obviously this is a new unit so it hasn't got any previous dives on so there's no fly limits at the moment. Similarly there's no desaturation time to expire. In the plan mode you can obviously uh, see what you could do on your next dive based on your previous dives and you can scroll up and down to increase the depths and just get your no decompression limits. Logbook will obviously show you your previous dive profiles. There's no dives on this unit at the moment so uh, it won't show any profiles. Set F, you can uh, adjust your oxygen content for your mixes in here. So if we quickly go in, just by pressing the select button, you can adjust the percentage of oxygen for each gas. Just by pressing the advanced button, you can increase the oxygen content. And then obviously the MOD at the top is reduced every time you increase the oxygen percentage. So once you've got to the particular percentage that you want, or if you want to put it back to where, just press select and that's saved. And if you press select, it will go between your different gases as well. So you get three different gases you can put in here that can be switched to during the dive. It will allow you to put increasing oxygen percentages from the previous gas onto the next one. So if you choose 32% on your first gas, you can choose anything higher than that on your second and again, anything higher on the third. To move back a mode, just hold down the select button and it will take you back one individual step. And if you want to come out the menu, hold down the mode button and that will take you back to where you were. So scrolling from back through to where we were. Set A is all the different alarms you can adjust. So we go in. Audible alarms. Set on and off. By pressing select you can move through the different ones. Get depth alarm, elapsed dive time, total loading for nitrogen, uh, dive time remaining. So you can, uh, based on your um, decompression limit for the dive, as soon as you get to, in this case, five minutes, it will start to beep at you to let you know that you should be thinking about ascending. If you've got your transmitter turned on, you can set a pressure um, that your computer will alert you to, to think about turning round to uh, begin your ascent. Also got an end alarm, so you can set your minimum pressure that you should end your dive on, and it will alert you to that point should you actually reach that. You can also set your PO2 uh, alarm, so it's at 1.4 at the moment. As you reach that, it will obviously let you know. So that's all the settings in there. Set utilities. You can turn the wet activation on and off. The different units you can set it to, so it's in metric imperial. Deep stop, whether you want it on or off. Safety stops, again, whether you want it on or off and the duration for the uh, safety stops. 
as well as the depth. And there we can also set the conservative factors and um, dive, uh, decompression bases as well. Here we've got the backlight uh, glow for how long it will be on. So it's obviously set for five seconds. And this shows you the uh, transmitter information as well, serial numbers, uh, whether you want the transmitter on and off. Moving on. Here you can set your dive mode. Uh, obviously defaults dive mode as standard, but you can also put it into free or gauge mode, depending on what sort of thing you're doing. And that's all the different settings. So a great wrist top dive computer with loads of different features and settings that you can make. Lots of different um, things you can attach it with obviously as well. You can have uh, up to three different transmitters on here as well, which allow you to have different um, obviously mixes and stages, but also allows you to monitor uh, your buddy's pressure as well. Great computer, as I say, great for everyday use.